What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Robert from RobGeo 0407 l and welcome to episode 225 of Logo History. Today we're going to have a look at Double Bubble and M&M's. Yay! Let's start with Double Bubble. Let's take a look at the short file. Those of you who don't know what Double Bubble is, it is a bubble gum brand introduced in 1928 and it is owned by Tootsie Roll Industries. Now without further ado, let's get started. 1928 and 19 sorry 1928 to 2005 we have uh we have a red oval and inside the red oval is are is are the words double bubble in white text and we have a crown and inside the crown is America's original in white text 2005 to the present um same here but it became more glossier and have and have more layers of outline also registered trademark now, let's move on to M&M's. Let's take a look at the short bio. For those of you who don't know what M&M's is, it is a chocolate candy introduced on September 10th, 1941. It is owned by Mars Incorporated. Guess what? You know what M&M's are? Skittles, but with chocolate inside. Yeah, that's what they are. Its website is www.mms.com. Actually, www.mms.com. I promise, as a responsible manufacturer, we need to check your age to ensure that we adhere to your, our commitment to market our brands responsibly. Please enter your date of birth. Uh, one, nine, eight, two, thousand four. Right, there you go, let's go. There you go. Wow, what's this? An m M&M brownie. I would eat that. I'm like, mm. I have pancakes for, for breakfast. So, M&M's. Copy, copyright 2016 Mars Incorporated and its affiliates. All rights reserved. All right, now without further ado, let's get started. 1941 and 1954, we have the word M&M's in black text. Simple as that. 1954 and 1971, same here, but in yellow text instead. 1971 and 1988, now it's in brown text. 1988 to 2001, um, it's, a, it's in a dark brown text now. And it's an alternate version. 1993 to 1999, um, we have the word M&M's, and we have a, a talking red M&M right here. 2001 to 2004, it is now brown and in diagonal. 2004 to the present, we have the word M&M's in uh, brown text. And um, on the bottom, we have the words chocolate candies. Register trademark. And this is an alternate version. Version with the red M&M. Version with the red and yellow M&M. And a bunch of M&M's. And 2016, um, this is their... Uh, um, I think this is a, I think this is a, um, an anniversary logo. Um, 41, 61, 71, 81, 91, 01, and 11. I, um, and I'd say about, I'd say 75. Well, 75. I didn't realize that. Didn't realize that I had a number 75. 75th anniversary. Didn't, I uh, didn't realize. <clears throat> Celebrate with M&M's, 1941, 2016. M&M with the number 75 years. All right, now last time I held uh, my second annual um, logo history voting ballot and I had to let you choose um, three logos to vote on. So now let's get started. Um, we have a total of 12 votes. Actually, 13 votes. Um, right. We, we have a total of, uh, 13 votes. So let's get right into it. Super Mario only had one vote, so it will not be the lucky logo for episode 225. Sorry. Alright. Now we are left with Red Lobster and Nick Black. L one logo has two votes. One logo has ten votes. The logo... That will be, in episode 2025, will be... 
Nick Splat with 10 votes. Congratulations. Good job. <clears throat> Sorry Red, Lo Sorry, Red Lobster, you're not able to be in episode 225, you only have two votes. Nick Splat has ten. Again, this was requested by Lily Wilson, so, um, let's give her credit for her request. Um, yeah, it was originally requested by Lily, Wils Lil Lily Wilson, and now many people voted for it. Ten people voted for it. And then only two people voted for Red Lobster, and then only one person voted for Super Mario. <clears throat> Alright, voting ended at 9 a.m. today, um, so um, voting's now closed. Um, um, I'll let you know there's going to be a third annual logo history vote voting ballot in one episode. Maybe in the future, don't worry. But first, let's take a look at the short pile, because you don't know what uh, Nick Splat is. It is a TNIC programming block launched on July 25th, 2011. And they usually run Nickelodeon retro shows on the air during an Splat. Now, without further ado, let's get started. 19, sorry, 2011 to 2015, um, this thing started as the 90s or all that. Um, so, um, we have the word the inside the yellow circle. In fact, both the numbers 9 and 0 have... A circle and then we have um, the word 90s um, the numbers are black with with a red outline and then we have the word R and we have a face and he opens his mouth and says all that the 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 2015 to 2017 we have an orange splat and we have the words the splat in white text inside of it. 2017 to the present, um, it renamed to Nick Splat, as they confirmed way back in 2017. They would they said that they would rename it to Nick Splat. Um so we have the we have the Nick logo and then we have the Splat logo. Like same here, but with but with the and but it doesn't have the word the. Uh, it just has the word Nick next to it. All right, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode two hundred twenty-six. I see, boy.